Hey everybody, Coach T, and welcome to Money Talk. We're gonna be talking about the five C's of your credit worthiness. This is going to come into play whenever you need to borrow money. So think about it, maybe you're buying a house, maybe you're buying a car, maybe it's that business loan that's gonna take you to the next level. We all need to borrow at some point in time. I wanna make sure that when you do, you've got this thing locked down. It's nothing worse, guys, than when it's time to borrow money, you submit your application and then you're, you've just got anxiety and stress and you're just wondering, am I, am I gonna get approved? No, today I'm gonna say, you tighten up these things, you got a yes coming your way. First of the five C's of credit. Number one is care. This isn't about running traffic lights or if you're an honest person and how much money you gave at church. No, this is just your pay history. How long have you had credit? And then also the also and powerful FICO score. You know, like how, where do we land at on that 300 to 850 scale? We focus on that in the first C character, we're gonna be good to go. The next C is going to be your capacity, specifically income. you like, do you earn money? How much money do you earn? What's your ability to repay this loan? How much reoccurring debt do you have every month? Another important factor is your debt to income. So how much debt do you have compared to your income? Now the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says 43% is the sweet spot when you wanna get a mortgage. If you're interested in buying a home, make sure that 43% is on your radar. You wanna be in that sweet spot so you can know, we're getting the house, baby, we're getting the house. The next in the five C's of credit is going to be capital. So simply put, how much money are you bringing to the table? Listen, the more money you make, the more money you bring to the table, the more down payments you have, the better off you are and the more likely you're going to get an approval. So if you got some skin in the game, chances are when that computer, because a lot of places use computers to make loan decisions, capacity matters and how much you can pay back and how much money you make um, really changes the risk and it really will influence your decision. The next in the five C's of it's collateral. Like, what are you borrowing the money? Like, what do you need the money for? Are you buying a boat? The less risky the collateral is, the better your opportunity. So one way to make your collateral less risky is have a little bit money down. And is it an investment or is it just a purchase? If you make an investment, generally grows. If you make a purchase, generally decreases. It changes the risk and also sets you up so you get the approval that you want. We've gone through one through four. Here is number five. And this one's weird because we have the least control of this one. And it is conditions. This is like the terms, the interest rate. How long do you want to have this loan for? If there are any fees attached to it. Um, there's also sometimes global economic things that influence the way that decisions are made. What we have not much influence over like global macroeconomic things, but some lenders will use that stuff to make a decision. I wanna make sure you guys know all that you need to know around making sure that your application is locked tight, stone cold locked. So when you need to do what you have to do, you get an approval. And those five things are, just to recap, making sure that you have good character, your score and other influencing factors matter. Making sure that your capacity is right. You can afford this loan. Making sure that you got a little bit of money to put down to sweeten the deal so you don't look risky because you got some skin in the game. Making sure that what you're purchasing is something smart that someone will lend you money for. And then the last thing is conditions. It's important because we don't want to be focused on conditions because we don't have any control over it. Let's focus on one through four and let number five do what it does, but it does matter. And you got that nice and tight. I can promise you, you're going to get an approval on the things that you need to borrow money for. Life goes on and you'll be making some life-changing moves going forward. Guys, that's all I got for today. And remember, Coach T told you, if it don't make money, then it don't make sense.